Hey guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So this is our um, Forex um, TD um, daily update. So straight over to the charts. Um, so yeah, looking at this um, Euro dollar, um, Euro dollar again. Um, as you guys know, this is my favorite short. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting big things out of this one. Um, <clears throat> we might actually draw some draw some trend lines on this um, on this daily chart just so that we can keep an keep an eye on it eye on what we're looking for um let me just take the arrow a bit off that um and then we'll draw one across the top here as well um yeah around about there pull this down a bit to the candle bodies and then we'll um pull this one up a bit to the candle bodies um i mean in all fairness these are probably the candle bodies really for this um so we are definitely um we're definitely testing um testing testing this daily um support sorry guys i'm just trying to get these right just just bear with me a second right that'll do there we'll say we'll save that like that we'll just pull this back a bit um and then lock that Right, so yeah, so like I said, um, we are looking for a move out of this pennant. Um, we've actually got on the daily chart um, a bearish a bearish trade now on the TD daily. Um, now that we're clearly trading above this one, we got some nice um, wick bear, well, nice bearish wicks, nice wicks if you're bearish um, of this of this um, of this asset. Um, just proving that we've got rejection up here. Um, we are very close to resolution in this um, in this formation. Um, maybe we get one more push up. Um, maybe i mean that would be a, be a gift maybe if we did if if we are going to break down obviously we can push up and break out or to the upwards i mean there's nothing to say that can't happen um but yeah but um we are we are definitely in a in a bearish posture on the daily so again um i've only been looking for short short in pumps shorting rallies in this um and yeah it does look like um yesterday wasn't was another short anyway so um there we go we'll have a quick look at the 12 hours see if we can see anything See if we can see anything lining up here. Four hour, four hour. See if we've got a uh, anything coming up on the four hour TD wise. Um, no, nothing really. I mean, this is just mainly a chart pattern play. Um, I would have been looking at the TDs um, to get me um, <coughs> get me some good short entries. As you can see, these nines, a few nines for some good short entries. Um, I don't think we got one on this one here. Um, no, we didn't know um no we didn't but we got um a pretty bearish looking candle which we then took out the bottom of um so yeah it's looking um, very bearish on this um and obviously obviously you got you guys know you, you guys that listen to this thoughts video you know that i've been um i've been saying that this is um this is going to go to parity um so we'll see what happens there right so sterling um us dollar cable that's what the cable's doing um did we draw some did we draw some lines on this or not no we didn't um go to the daily yeah again again pretty tightening up here on the daily um maybe maybe we're looking to break down um i think it's going to be dollar strength really that's going to be facilitating this but looking at this looking at cable we are actually looking at um a daily nine tomorrow so that could this could be a potential um yeah potential um pullback on the cards here this could be a good trade to look for um so the long tomorrow the daily nine um and see if we can get a, get a move back up a bit even if it's um even if it's um only really really to this kind of um resistance area around here um test the test the moving averages the 21 and the 50 um obviously remember we have got this um ball cross um on the 21 but this could definitely be a fake out here uh, between the 21 and the 50 um, and yeah pretty flat 200 daily um i mean yeah flat too. i mean we could even test all the way back up to the 200 we could be we could be caught um creating a um a <laughs> a what a what are they called a um a massacre microphone pattern um a broadening wedge that's it god it escapes me then we could be um, could be forming a, a sort of descending broadening wedge pattern here, which could could in theory be a bullish pattern, um, but we'll just have to wait wait for resolution of that chart pattern. See, what we've got on the four hour. Um, as of tomorrow, we probably will be looking at um, 
trying to time trying to time some of these four hour and hour nines to to get a potential um long entry in this even though i do think it's going um down but um we'll, we, we can obviously still look for long entries um but yeah so i mean we're on a six so seven eight nine three more candles three four hour candles is obviously 12 hours 12 hours um won't take us um into um into the daily nine um because we've got i know we've got 10 hours 10 hours left of this candle actually so there you go guys so we could be looking at a four hour on a daily nine um lining up pretty nicely here see if we've got anything going on the 12 hour um yeah 12 out 12 hours also going to line up basically seven eight nine for a, a nine tomorrow in well in 24 hours so which is a which is a day isn't it last time i checked um, and the hour, I mean, we're not, we're obviously going to have to be waiting tomorrow for this entry, so we won't really be looking at these hours. So potentially we'll, we'll get this count, however it maybe goes, maybe reverses the count and then starts to count down into a nine on the hourly. We could use to make it, maybe, maybe find micromanage the entry to this trade. So this is definitely, um, this stable, this cable, <laughs> this stable cable is what we are looking at, um, looking at now actually for a, um, for a buy entry potentially tomorrow. Um, like I'm not expecting, I won't be expecting the world from it. I won't be expecting um, to reverse this whole trend on it. But but stranger things have happened, guys. I mean, we reversed pretty nicely on this daily nine here for what was. Um, this is the this is the big move for a currency, as you you forex traders know, seven percent move. Um, so yeah, over over like basically a few days um so yeah I, I, this 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 is a pretty good looking good looking setup this is guys so yeah one two one we are going to keep a check on let's look at the dollar index as well because <clears throat> um what would be facilitating this would be a um would be um weakness in the dollar index because <clears throat> obviously that's um the dollar is obviously the 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 other part of the um part of the cable um <laughs> trade obviously i mean I feel like I'm stating the obvious here, guys. But yeah, but so we could we could definitely be looking at some weakness here as well. So um, <clears throat> you can see um, just the pattern, the channel, the range we've got going on. We could definitely see a pullback, um, a pullback to like around these levels again, and that would be um, part of the catalyst also for this um, this bouncing cable. So interesting, interesting opportunity there. See if we've got anything on the 12 hour. I mean, we're not gonna. We're not. We're only going to have green counts here that aren't really going to be heading towards nines yet. Maybe this. Maybe this. May. Maybe we'll get a nine on the four hour on the dollar index. Actually, um, yeah. There we go. So um, eight hours or so. We could be looking for some sort of topping topping formation here. Um, there's no point really in looking because we are looking at this trade tomorrow. There's no real point in looking at the hourly um, for any guidance for this trade. Um, I mean, just FYI, I only really look for um nice juicy larger time frame moves um so four hours is pretty much the minimum so i'd look for like the daily um sometimes the weekly but obviously you don't often get weekly setups but the daily and then the four hour then to time the entry into that daily and then obviously sometimes the hourly once we've got these two in like aligned um so that's what we're looking at we've got a daily nine in this as well in the brazilian real um so maybe we're gonna get a maybe we're gonna get a test back of the 21. Maybe even go as far as the 50, but that hasn't happened um, for a while in this move. Um, but um, we are getting pretty pretty divergent away from these. You um you Bill Williams um, Bill Williams we're Bill Williams fractal guys and um, we'll, we'll know this as um as um as an allig as an alligator what they put an alligator trade I think where he's got his mouth open his jaw it's I think it's his jaw his teeth and his lips or maybe jaw I think that's what it is but yeah so this is in full ball mode but we are obviously diverging away from these these averages so you'd maybe expect to retest like we have seen numerous times um and again that will coincide with um with some weakness in the dollar which uh, maybe we'll see so maybe we are setting up for some weakness um weakness in the dollar here guys um <clears throat> that is um yeah something that i'm looking at um which then could actually signal a pretty a bounce and obviously my favorite short um euro us dollar uh weakness in the dollar is clearly going to push this back up so yeah maybe we are going to get another top touch of maybe we're going to get around to the 1.9s again in the euro i mean you obviously have yeah obviously you have to as a trader you know you've got to 
differentiate between your um short your shorter time frame trades and like your overall macro view i mean with like a move to parity is clearly like a big view a big move on the weekly um it is so it's like we can do plenty of things in the meantime. I mean, you can be incredibly bearish of this uh, to this point here, thinking we may be breaking down now, and then then look what happens. I mean, you have to you have to just take the trades based on your setup and your process, and um, based on what you think. Uh, yeah, sorry, based on your setup and your process, and not what you think the larger, longer term, fundamental time frame move should be. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. You're a Japanese yen. We've not looked at this for um, a while. Um, see, what we've got on the daily. Let's just let me get my bearings let's have a look on the weekly and monthly um so yeah weekly bearish and we're going to be bearish on the monthly too um right so let's look at this daily um yeah daily we've got a red one count now um everything's pretty extended away from their um their, their larger time frame moving averages anyway i'm no i'm noticing so yeah maybe you're going to get a bit of a reversion to the norm norm um we've actually got um um, weakness looking looking in the stock markets as well which then could feed through to more uh, more fed intervention um, which then could maybe feed through to more um, basically some perceived dollar weakness temporarily which could then see as um, selling off in the dollar um, so maybe this could be the whole catalyst for what's gonna what's gonna happen here we've already seen the move in stock markets start um so then yeah maybe that will pull through so yeah that's all i've got for you guys for x y today but you can see we're formulating some pretty um pretty interesting plans here um i'm gonna be i'm gonna start um i've, I've set up a patreon here um 50 pounds a month basically and i'm gonna be look, going into more detail on these actual trade setups and when they trigger and what i'm looking at and my entries and things like that so if that's something you're interested in uh, be sure to check that out um, but yeah, so remember, not a financial advisor, not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and um, and yeah, that's it, really, guys. So um, stay safe out there, um, and um, yeah, let's see if we can um, see if we can find some good opportunities in these markets.